Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to Share or Shelf episode 2. Today I'm going to be reviewing a book that is near and dear to my heart because I adore its author. You might know her from her more famous novels, um, Boy Snowbird and Mr. Fox. The book I'm reviewing today is What Is Not Yours Is Not Yours. It's not actually a novel, it's a collection of short stories. And I was fortunate enough to be able to meet her a second time when she did her book tour. Um, she did a signing at Harvard Bookstore and she signed my copy. <laughs> Sorry, I was fangirling so hard when I went up to her. Like I literally couldn't speak. I think the only thing I blurted out was like, you are brilliant, I love you. <laughs> Quite embarrassing. Um, and the funny thing is, is that I was also equally awkward the first time I met her when she did her book tour for Boy Snowbird. And she did a signing at Brookline Booksmith and um, she was able to sign, well I was able to get her to sign my copy of Mr. Fox and Boy Snowbird. But yeah, equally awkward meeting her. I mean, I, 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 I cringe. <laughs> I cringe at the memory. But I'm so glad that I was able to meet her. Um, she's an amazing human being. Um, she's quite soft-spoken, but she's really smart. Like every time she does a reading and a signing, I fall more in love with her and her writing. Uh, but yeah, okay. So back to the book. What is not yours is not yours. Um, the setting of these short stories varies in location. Um, some are set in Cambridge, Barcelona, Prague. Um, but the great thing about um, Oyeyemi's writing is she's able to take the familiar in each of those places and turn it into something magical or mystical. So this book and Helen Oyeyemi's books in general are good for people who enjoy magic realism and literary fiction. So there are nine stories in this collection. Um, all of the short stories are interconnected in some way. Um, there's a central theme of keys and locks in all of the stories and also some of the characters are recurring like you'll meet them in one story and they might be the main character there but then they'll pop up again in another story as a secondary character. Um, all of Oyeyemi's books have fairy tale elements to them. Um, if you've read Boy Snowbird you'll know that it was kind of her take on the Snow White tale and then Mr. Fox is her take on Bluebeard. So the same thing happens with this collection of short stories. You also get that um, fairy tale take from Ayayami. So there's um, Red Riding Hood. Um, there's also Pinocchio. There are sentient puppets. There are locked things, found things, secrets and mysteries. There's a mystical presence that permeates through all of Oyeyemi's books. Um, like I said earlier, she's really great at taking the familiar elements of places or situations that we know and turning them into something magical. Um, her reality, the reality she creates in her books morphs seamlessly into fantasy. And in this collection in particular, the stories seem to shapeshift into one another. So. It kind of reads like a novel because there are connections throughout the stories, but then also each story is distinct and very much its own tale, if that makes any sense. <laughs> In the story, Sorry Does Not Sweeten Her Teas, one of the characters says, every time I go into that bloody house, there's a risk of coming out crazy. And I feel like that's true of all of Oyeyemi's books um, because you never really know what's gonna happen next or like where the paths in the story will take you. Another thing that I really enjoyed about this collection of short stories is that they're not explicitly about race or sexuality or feminism, but these are all topics that come up seamlessly and are very subtle throughout the book. Um, Oyeyemi does such a good job of not writing it in a heavy-handed kind of way. So for example, um, a lot of the stories are populated by characters of color or their same-sex relationships that occur in the book. Um, there's one short story that deals with violence against women, but somehow she's able to do it so that none of those very important, pertinent topics overshadow the actual storytelling and I thought that was really great. Um, in all honesty, 
I really love Helen Oyeyemi. Um, to me, this collection of short stories was yet another showcase of how brilliant of a writer she actually is. Um, she can do no wrong in my eyes. I know that some people found this collection somewhat disjointed, even though the short stories were all in interconnected. And I would say that it's probably because they're not that familiar with Helen Oyeyemi's writing style. Um, she doesn't write in a disjointed way. She is a literary fiction writer. Um, so if you haven't read her work, I would recommend starting with one of her novels first. Um, I really enjoyed Mr. Fox. That was actually the first um, book of hers that I ever read. It's her retelling, well, retelling. It's her take on the tale of Bluebeard, except in this case, um, Mr. Fox, who acts as the Bluebeard character, gets the tables turned on him by the women in his life and in his imagination. So that was quite a good one. Um, you could also read Boy Snowbird, that's a little bit um, thicker and longer, but it's her take on the Snow White tale. That was also amazing. Honestly, I wish that when she when she spoke in both of her readings that I was able to take videos of her because I think when you um, listen to her speak about her writing process and like the thoughts that go into her um, novels, it'll blow you away. Like it's just the amount of imagination that this woman has is astounding, like really astounding. To top it off, she's like, really really brilliant um i absolutely love her she is exactly the kind of writer that i want to be and she's so nice like she's incredibly nice and incredibly humble and i'm just gonna fangirl <laughs> about her all day long if i can but she's definitely worth reading i think she's um an up-and-coming writer for sure i mean she's gotten a bunch of awards already and she's quite young she's only 31 which is really impressive and yeah, I, I highly recommend this collection of short stories. But again, if you haven't read any of her work, probably start with one of her novels first, just so that you can get a sense of her style. Um, it's always easier to read a writer once you can hear their voice in your head, especially if it's with a collection of short stories like this one, where they're all interconnected. Um, yeah, that's what I recommend. So Mr. Fox, and then read this one and then read all of her other novels like why this for witching oh my god fantastic basically everything she's written i love um she can do no wrong by me so this is a definite share anything of helen oyeyemi's i will shove it in your face <laughs> no i'm just kidding but i will definitely share it and definitely recommend that you guys read it because she's brilliant she's really good um, but yeah, if, if you guys have read any of her books, I'd like to know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Um, I would love to meet fellow Oyeyami fans and discuss her books. That would be really exciting for me. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes of Share a Shelf. Hit like if you like this video. Um, let me know your thoughts down in the comments if you read anything by Helen Oyeyemi. If you guys can recommend authors who are similar to her, that would be great. Um, also, what else? Yeah, just subscribe, hit like, have an awesome weekend. Oh, speaking of weekends, I'm doing something really fun this weekend. I'm going to New York. I'm only going to be there for one day, but I am going to be watching Hamilton. <laughs> And I'm so freaking excited, so excited because uh, my fiance surprised me with these tickets like in March. So I've been looking forward to this for months, not to count like the time when Hamilton first came out and I was already like really excited. So anyway, yeah, this weekend I'm going to be watching Hamilton and I'm definitely going to vlog about it. Obviously, I'm not going to film in the theater, but I'll try to get some shots if I can of New York, um, of the theater, and like my thoughts and reactions right after I watch it and before I watch it, I feel like I'm gonna be a mass of tears and smiles and excitement. But yeah, it should be great. So subscribe so you don't miss that vlog. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. Let me know in the comments if you guys are doing anything fun. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys like that. Bye. <laughs>